Hey, Rene Garcia with Games Gear Tech, and today we are unboxing the Aeron Chair by Herman Miller Gaming Edition. But before we get into the box, let's talk about my seemingly endless crusade for the right chair for me. Now, when I was in my 20s, I think I sat on a broken $50 chair for like, I don't know, half a decade. Uh, once I started working a grown up job, though, uh, I did invest in a hiking chair from one of the big box office retailers, and I sat in that for, I don't know, maybe six, seven years. Even though it was a, a cheap chair, it really served me well, and believe it or not, I actually enjoyed sitting in it for quite a long time. But now that it's on its last legs, uh, I did decide that it's time to invest in something a little more high-end, and the chair I settled on, at the time anyway, was a steel case leap mainly because my day job had them and I thought they were fantastic task chairs to sit on all day. Yes, a steel case leap is a very expensive chair, a premium chair, but I figured, well, I sat on a hiking chair for six or seven years. A steel case leap is going to be a great investment, especially for someone like me who sits in front of a computer for 12 to 16 hours a day sometimes. Unfortunately, when I got the steel case leap, it arrived broken which was heartbreaking for me since it was such a premium item and super expensive. You just expect it to be packaged a little bit better. And yeah, I did think about calling steel cases customer service and having them send out a repair person or a technician. I don't actually know what they do in those cases, but uh, I did opt to get the steel case leap with the, the, head, the optional headrest. And the headrest isn't very adjustable, as I found out. Uh, and I didn't like how far it protruded from the seat back into, into my neck. And so I, I found that I was, my head was being pushed forward the whole time. Just uh, not the comfort I was looking for. So I ended up just sending it back. Steel Kiss was very good about receiving it and uh, it was a hassle-free experience really. So thank you Steel Kiss for that frictionless experience. I still have that, uh, that footage, the unboxing footage, so if anyone, if you watching, will actually still want to see that video, I'm happy to put it up. Just let me know in the comments below. Nevertheless, I still wanted a newer chair since my Hiken was on its last legs, and I opted to get the Ergo chair from Autonomous, Autonomous.ai, and it's a fine chair. I'm looking at it right now. It, it's fine. But uh, I think I'm too, sh too short, too small of a person for that chair. My biggest problem with the Ergo chair, uh, and I actually I think it's the Ergo chair Pro now that I think about it, is that um, at its lowest, it's still about two inches too high for me. I'm five six and a half. When you're five six and a half, is very important. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, without having my feet actually touch the ground. Uh, comfortably, like my feet still touch the ground, but it's just not really supported. And so there's all of this pressure underneath my thighs and it's just an uncomfortable sitting experience. Plus the armrests, while they do move in from side to side, they just don't come in close enough to my sides that my elbows feel supported in the way that I need them to be while I'm typing. So um, I decided, you know what? Maybe I need to do a little more research and take a few more measurements before I buy my next chair. I have done that and uh, I decided let's go back to premium and I ordered the Herman Miller gaming chair, uh, Aeron gaming chair, and I'm hoping that this is going to fit the bill and end my seemingly endless search. So let's get into the box. There, mere seconds stand between you and science back, ergonomics, no assembly required. Just sit down and enjoy exceptional comfort for as long as you want to gain. Well, there you go. Can't argue with that. Ho, ho, ho. Hey now. There's this on top. This out of the way. So that is a very 
very seamless, easy experience. I will say that my uh, unboxing of this, the uh, steel case leak was not that easy. Hmm. Let me see if I can uh, get some detail shots here. So, I would have hoped, I'm not sure if this is showing up on the camera, but uh, I'm noticing some of the uh, hard plastic here around the sides of the, uh, the seat back. They're a little scuffed up. I noticed this as well on the steel case leap, and I, I don't know if this is uh, damage or uh, some abrasion during shipping or manufacturing. Just a little disappointing for such a premium purchase. That's supposed to be creased like that? All right. On my first sit, I have to say that this chair is, it's really comfortable. <laughs> I don't know how else to, to put it. These armrests, you know, the I'm used to having really stiff uh, padding. Even on the uh, my autonomous uh, ergo chair, that plastic is super hard. This is very, we'll say plush. Like, it actually feels really comfortable to rest my arms on this. Oh man, yes, rocking back and forth. Very smooth, very comfortable, good back support. Let me see if I can get this adjusted as well. Okay, so now that I've had some time to sit in the chair and play with the adjustments, I have to say that this is a very comfortable chair. I think the best way to describe my initial reaction is that it just feels natural to sit in. At no point do I feel any kind of discomfort at all, like touching the chair. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say. I mean, it really does fit my body. Uh, my, I think it really um, accommodates my height, uh, my frame size. These uh, everything that you know that moves, it just seems to move naturally, right? Like wherever I need the arms to be, they they can be there. I need to move this back and forward, you know. If I'm like really sitting close to a desk, I don't think these are going to be in the way, but they'll still support me. The chair really rolls. Uh, like smoothly. I mean, I, I know I have I have hardwood floors in my apartment, but uh, these casters are nice. Like, I think they're even better than the ones that come with the Ergo Pro that I'm currently using. The mesh, the mesh, so the hiking chair that I'm using or that I was using, it's also mesh, but that mesh feels very cheap. Um, I know this has a particular name and I'm 
too lazy to look it up right now for the, while I'm recording on. Let's see if I can I can put it here somewhere on the screen. But it it feels great. It doesn't feel necessarily like like mesh, or at least like the standard mesh that I'm used to sitting on, even in other mesh chairs that I've tried. Uh, actually, the Ergo Pro has a has mesh, um, and this just feels like I don't know. Uh, I can't even describe it. Um, not quite mesh. Yeah, there you go. My limited vocabulary trying to describe this. Uh, time will tell if this was, if this purchase was uh, was necessary or uh, if it was worth it. But from my initial impressions, I'm really liking it. The one thing that I wish it did come with was uh, or is a headrest because, you know, I'd like to have I'd like to have some support while I'm sitting for my head, right? But fortunately, there are aftermarket um, uh, options for that, and I did purchase an Atlas headrest. So I think I'm gonna go install it and see what the final product looks like. Raise the headrest a little bit. All right, let's try that out. Oh yeah, that is a lot better. too much. A quick adjustment. So what I like about the Atlas headrest is that it does allow for all of the minute adjustments that anyone who's really takes their ergonomics seriously will appreciate. Okay. I think that is very close. I'm sure as I continue to use this I'll find the, the right alignment for me but so far, this is pretty good. Okay, so I think that does it for this unboxing. This was the Herman Miller Aeron Gaming Chair. Um, I'm not sure if this was a wise purchase. I'll let you know in three months so far, just sitting in it for the few minutes that I have. With the headrest, I think I'm really going to like this chair. But once again, uh, who knows how I'm going to feel about it after I've been sitting in it for several hours. But what do you think? Is this the right chair for you? Are you willing to spend roughly $1,500 plus maybe another $200 for the headrest? Let me know in the comments below. I think it was a pretty good investment, but once again, time will bear that out. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm talking about.